Edith sought a place for rest and repairs for the president, close enough to D.C. that he could get out here as often as needed, but far enough away that there was wilderness. So she bought the cottage and 15 acres and her renovations that she prescribed for $280. The deed is written in her name. And the renovations that she did include this porch, which she called her piazza, and specified that it be supported by these untrimmed cedar posts. Uh, these are the original. Most of what you see is original. And uh, the color of the house now is the color that it was when the Roosevelt's were here. The interior is completely unfinished. They are bare uh, because Edith wanted them to be left that way. She wanted it to have a total rustic feel, just as the porch, and um, wanted it to be natural in every sense. This room was originally divided into two, and Edith opened it out into a lodge-like room. She wanted to have uh, the family be able to be here together, and they cooked their meals by the fireplace. Generally, TR would do the cooking, and Edith would boil uh, the water for the tea, and the children would fetch the wood and do the various things that were needed to get the meals together. When Edith uh, saw the cottage the first time, there were no fireplaces. It, the cottage was unfinished, and so these fireplaces were done to her specification. She has designed these wonderful little stone ledges that are built into the fireplace uh, to provide some functionality and also some interest. Uh, the stairs were originally in the center of the room, so they kind of took up the whole thing. Uh, and Edith specified she moved them to the side for really two reasons. One is she wanted the bottom floor to be in an open lodge-like Room. The other is that she wanted to create a room upstairs. This is the tiny room Edith cre created for Ethel, but I think the special feature of this was that it had a door so that Ethel would have been able to shut off her brothers from entering her room. This is where Edith and T.R. slept, and uh, so this would be the master bedroom as it were. Uh, but clearly, as you can see, the light streaming through the boards, it is no more better appointed than any of the other rooms. This is the boys' room, so all four of the boys would have slept in this room when they were here. And it too has a wonderful mantle, and even better yet, it has the stone supports that Edith would have designed. This was a family place. In that sense, it was unique for the Roosevelt's because Sagamore Hill had become a place where TR had politicians and press and constantly a hubbub of activity. This was the one place where it was private family time, and the Roosevelt's made it very clear they did not want anyone but family here.